Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Jimmy here. And today, I'll be sharing with you my latest art find, which is no other than the Stabilo Aquacolor. So for today's video, I'll be reviewing the product, put it into practical use by making an artwork, and also share with you my views and opinions on this product's performance. So if you want to know more about the Stabilo Aquacolor, just keep on watching. So here's the full set of 24 colors. The watercolor pencils are housed in a cardboard packaging, although I hope they made the packaging a little bit more compact so it can be more handy on the go. Let's get to swatching. First, we'll use them as color pencils. What I notice is that the leads don't feel like regular colored pencils. It's not waxy like other watercolor pencils. In fact, as you color it down to the paper, it feels more like pastel pencils. The leads are soft and you don't need too much pressure to get the pigments onto the paper. The pigments are super vibrant and vivid. It blends well with little effort and the color selection of their set is remarkable as Tableau included colors that are not commonly found on coloring sets, so kudos to Stabilo for that. And now that we're done with swatching as colored pencils, let's splash things up and brush it with water. I was surprised with the performance of these aquacolor pencils. The color became more intense when I brushed it with water and the, the pigments just melts right away leaving very faint or no pencil stroke marks. Well, it looks as if I used ink watercolors as I spread the colors around. It makes really good gradation and it does not get muddy as you go along. Like I said, it's more like ink when it gets wet. Okay, it's time for the moment of truth. Let's make an artwork using these pencils. So 
So in here, I'm using the lightest brown to make the initial sketch. It's going to get erased anyways when I brush it with water later on. So I'm just going to do simple coloring today, just one color for base color and then one color for shading. I'm also going to go for a mixed media look for this one which is a combination of watercolor effect and color pencil outlines and shading. If you'll notice, I only used two shades of green on the shirt and hat. Uh, the first one is a base color and the second darker color is for shading and outlines.
And now for some finishing touches. I'm using a green platinum brush pen to add in the calligraphy. And there you have it. Stabilo Aquacolors are awesome. And so that's it for today's review of the Stabilo Aquacolor. So let me tell you what I think about the product. Let's go over the product's features. Let's start off with the price. So for this set, you can get it for 369 pesos in National Bookstore. I know it's a little bit pricey, but for that price, you get high quality aquacolor pencils in 24 colors. So for me, that's actually a good investment. I highly recommend this product whether you are into watercolors or colored pencils or even both because you're getting two products in one. So for the 24 watercolor pencils, you'll get a nice selection of colors. Some of the colors there are colors that you will not be able to achieve just by mixing two colors together. So I really like the color selection for this set. It also says in the box, vivid colors. Yes, that is correct. I love how the colors stay vivid even after you brush it with water. Next, it also has in the box, aquarellable. Yes, it is very much aquarellable and I like that the colors are very pigmented and that the pigments readily melts when you brush it with water. It leaves very little or no stroke marks when you use it as a watercolor. The pigments when wet is very easy to spread and is highly workable. So this set is really good as an aquarel pencil. And the last thing that says on the box is easy coloring. That is also true. Because when you start using the pencils you'll notice that the leads are soft and it transfers easily on paper. I like that uh, the leads are not waxy but they're more like soft pastels. And the best thing about it is that you don't need much pressure or force to get the pigment onto the paper. So a little pressure goes a long way and, and has really good color payoff. The only thing that I can say that they need to improve on, I guess, is the packaging. In my opinion, I guess they can make the packaging a little bit smaller. And also less flimsy. Well, the same set comes in another version which is in a metal case. But the thing is, it is twice the price of the same set that comes in the paper packaging. So I highly suggest that if you are to get this set, just go ahead and pick up the one in the paper packaging and just put it in a nice pencil case to protect the pencils from damage. Overall, I love this product. It has good performance and quality, so I recommend this to everyone, whether you're an art enthusiast, just starting out, or a professional artist. You can't go wrong with this set. And so that's it for today's review of the Stabilo Aquacolors. Again, my name is Jimmy, and thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more My Art Life videos. I'll see you again on our next project.